In this video, we're going to create a half mile of dry utilities such as gas, electrical, fiber. So we're going to start off, we have a simple subdivision here. We have a line I've already drawn. It's a 2D polyline. As you can see, it's running along the road. It's about five foot inside the right of way and then it and jogs here, goes north and, and ends right here. So we got it roughly about half a mile. We want to create multiple dry utility conduits in this project. We're going to go into our apps and call dry utility BIM. We'll select our polylines, one continuous polyline. And we're going to start off with the electrical at the bottom. And notice here I can follow a surface. I got existing, then propose. So if it can't find existing, I'll look for a proposed surface. It's these two surfaces in the drawing. So here I'm going to give it a name and I'll call it E-1 for electrical network one. And let's just say it's going to be four foot of cover. Now I'm not kind of following any kind of design standards, just showing you what you can, can do with the software. I'm going to put four conduits. This one would be, let's say it's a two inch PVC and these two and the outer is uh, one, one, uh, one inch PVC. Now you do have an option here to offset off the polyline. So it's based off that polyline. You're going right and left, but you can say negative one if you want to go to the left side of that polyline and offset. There you go. Now I'm going to go to my second layer, which is my level and say, okay, this is going to be three foot deep. And this is going to be my, let's just say fiber. So these are using my pipe networks. I'll call it F1. Click OK, and I have, let's just say I have three fiber. I'm going to make this one also negative one for my pipe separation here, more conduit separation. Okay, fiber one, three foot of cover. Hit a check mark, so we will create these two. Then we'll go to the third one here, and this will be our, let's just say gas. And we'll set it at two foot of cover. Okay, and give it a network name of G-1, and we'll say it's a three inch gas line. There we go. So here we got a four foot electrical, we have three foot fiber and two foot uh, gas. Whoops, let me make sure we are using gas. PVC, two inch PVC. We have other um, types of materials here. All right, so we, no other additional offset, one gas line that is uh, two of, uh, three inches here. All right. Now we're just going to click OK to place. It's going to create our conduit or pipe network for our three uh, dry utilities. Give it a few seconds. OK, there we go. So let's see what it created. We'll go in an object viewer. So here you can see our conduit. As you can see, I got some simple uh, line types that I'm using to represent my conduits, but let's go to an isometric mode. All right, and I'm going to go into my free orbit and kind of rotate this around so you can see what's actually being created. So there you go. You can see that conduit right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. So you can see those conduits, close it. I'll change the actual visualization. Okay, let's change that to maybe a conceptual. And there you go, you can see those conduits in there that I just created with the separation. So that's how you can take advantage of our dry utility BIM and using our CCLS productivity apps. Thank you for watching.